you never turn your back on family. All right, so clearly this build has got me feeling real fast and furious, and we're just gonna go with it for today. This is the brand new Lego Technic McLaren P1 that's gonna be releasing on August 1st, and these are my thoughts on the set. Before we get too far, as always, big thank you to Lego for sending this set over to review. Now, first things first, I don't think I've ever seen a set get as much hate before it's even released as this one's been getting in the comment sections online. Seriously, people have been hating on this set for every number of reasons, from the color, to the build, to the style, to the fact that apparently some other companies made it two years ago. But I can confidently say after building this set, Lego did a fantastic job with the McLaren P1. Now I'll admit right off the bat, despite the little costume that I'm wearing, I am not a really big car guy. So maybe there's some stuff about this that I just don't know. But from what I can tell, this is a really cool set, a really cool build with some very impressive engineering and really nice styling. So let's start out with the basics. This set has 3,893 pieces and costs 450 US dollars. Now as with most of the 1 8 supercar Lego series, I think this set is overpriced. Personally, I'll just say it up front, I wouldn't spend 400 $150 on this set. I would spend $300 on this set, maybe even $350. $450 is a little steep for me. But then again, I'm not a supercar collector. I'm sure there are plenty of people out there who will be snatching this set up the minute it hits the shelves. That being said though, aside from the price, I personally think there's a lot to like about this set. First things first, the color. The McLaren Racing Team is famous for its papaya orange color and Lego, I think, did a really nice job at imitating it in this build. It's not quite exactly the papaya orange. To me, it looks more like kind of like a darker yellow, like a canary yellow kind of vibe. But I think it's a really, really nice looking color and it gets close enough to approximating this color that is famous for McLaren racing team so I think it was a great choice for this set. This is actually the first time Lego has produced most of these pieces in this color so it's cool to see. Another thing that I actually think looks really good in this set is the curves that Lego was able to accomplish using these Technic pieces. Obviously it's made of Lego it's not going to be the perfect smooth pieces of an actual supercar like this. For me personally you look at the curves of the headlight, the hood, the rear, the tail lights, the windows, the wheel wells, I think the curves on this look really really nice. But what other people pointed out in my comment section is that other alternate brick companies have made cheaper versions of this exact same model, which to them they thought looked better. Now I haven't built any of those alternates, so I can't speak to those. But what I can tell you is that while Lego has done a good job on the outside of this set, it is the inside of this set that really blows your mind. The amount of technical engineering jam-packed into this vehicle is seriously impressive. Now of course we've got to have the butterfly doors, which Lego has done really well with some nice little mechanics that leave the doors propped open if that's how you want to display the vehicle, and can slide down right into place super easily. And while it's not the most technically impressive feature, the spoiler that can raise and lower in the back is a nice touch. Really though, for me, the standout feature of this set is the fact that there is a actual working seven speed gearbox in this thing with paddle shifters to change the gears. When I was building that, that just blew my mind that Lego was able to fit a seven speed gear shifter inside this thing. And when you drive the car along, you can actually see the pistons and the engine moving at different rates of speed, depending on which gear you've shifted into. The paddle shifters up by the steering wheel and the gear shifter next to the console make this whole thing look and feel really lifelike. So while yeah, this set is not not gonna be at the top of everyone's wish list. It's priced probably a little bit too high and is a little bit of a niche market for people who really love these supercars. What I can say is that if you are in that niche, I don't think this set will disappoint. Personally, I think it looks a lot better in person than any of the pictures we saw online or even the box art. I think the color is nicer in person. It's not quite as dark orange as you might think it is. And I think that the curves, the shape, the body of this vehicle in person look much nicer than what you might've been expecting. But as always, hey, that's just my opinion. If you disagree or if you have other thoughts, please feel free to drop them in the comments. Let me know what you think about the LEGO Technic McLaren P1, which will be available on August 1st.